Having decided to sit out bad weather the previous day, we were faced with having to compress the next three days into two if we wanted to make a pre-arranged B&B at New Galloway. This would mean using the Bothy at White Lagan on the shores of Loch D rather than camping at Caldens in Glen Truel, turning the next day's 19 mile journey into 25. By now we were both a bit stir crazy and keen to get walking, particularly as waiting around in the Bothy had got quite chilly, so it seemed like a reasonable option. What was now the longest section, from the Bothy at Lagangarn to the one at Loch D, was also the hilliest, with the highest point, Craig Airy Fell, coming after only two miles. Luckily, there'd be quite a bit of walking on track and road, which would act in our favour, albeit tougher on the feet. The only hospitality options would be the Hauser Hill Hotel at Bar Grenon and the Visitor Centre at Glen Truel. It wouldn't help that I wanted to go off piste to visit a couple of Covenanter memorials, Alexander Lynn's grave on Craig Moddy Fell and the Martyr's Tomb at Caldens, although the latter only became an issue when we had to divert. This would add a bit of unwanted time and distance. The Bruce's Stone on the north shore of Glen Truel had long been an objective one which I was reluctant to compromise, and it was quite possible we'd have trouble finding the old Trea Weirmerk, which was another aspect of the walk we were now keen to maintain. P.S. If some clips seem short in this and other videos, it's because the GoPro had developed issues relating to the use of non-proprietary batteries. This resulted in the video freezing while the audio remained unaffected. Unfortunately, there was no way of retrieving the lost video, but it was surprising just how much usable stuff remained. It's taught me to keep clips short and to start recording the second the button is hit. Goodbye, Bothy. Home from home. <laughs> Alexander Lynn was a simple shepherd whose only crime was to worship in a way that displeased his monarch, for which he was hunted and shot down mercilessly by dragoons in 1685. His walled grave on the northern slopes of Craig Moddy Fell is marked by a solitary rowan tree. If you want to see it, and it's strongly recommended, it's advisable to follow a finger post directing you off the track after Craig Airy Fell going west to east, unless you want to spend, as I did, a difficult half hour over your ankles in Tussocky Bog. Even then, it's a bit of a damp slog on a faint vehicle track. Ah. 
Oh, job done. Didn't think I was going to find that. I was heading back at the time, feeling very disappointed with myself. Oh, I'll go there, I'll see it. No. Yes. No. Yeah. Never mind. I'll get myself into the star. Any ideas? No, I feels little claws on us. Can you? Aye. Can't be hiding, do you? They're really soft, aren't they? Sure, I don't think I've ever seen a live one. Mm -hmm. Nah, they're all usually hanging on barbed wire fences. Oh. Ah, oh, we're on it then. Yeah. I didn't think they'd have it too close to Glen Trule in case kids came and nicked them. Uh, <laughs> do, you do you want any sticks? Cheers. <laughs> Thank you.
there's somewhere where the, the attack took place, I think. Look over there, can you see it coming down the mountain? It's all white water. Ah, it looks great, doesn't it? Well, we'll be down there. I think that's where we cross the um, the bridge, aye, because we're heading up through that over into the next. Uh, aye. Oh wow! I missed the full effect. We left Lag and Gone after a day's inactivity. Um, uphill on the trail, past the standing stones which we'd visited the previous evening, over the ring burn, and a two and a half kilometre pull past an unnamed cairn to the summit of Craigary Fell, which would be the highest point we get to on the day. After that, it was a very steep descent down to a track which would take us past Craig Moddy Fell and Alexander Lynn's grave, uh, Loch Derry, out of the wind farm, and gently undulating over to the village of Paul Bay and Darloskin Bridge. We then continue over the um, River Bladnock to the a water refill point at uh, Waterside and on to the B7027 and a short distance further to the tiny village of No. After that, shortly after that, uh, there's a track through the nature reserve at Penningham, um, gentle uphill pull onto the road at Glenruther Lodge then up to a cattle grid at, uh, at this point here, climbing onto the fell to a triangulation pillar above Loch Ockle Tree, and then off the summit, descending Glenvenock Fell uh, across very tussocky and boggy countryside, steeply downhill to the road. Short section on the road, then an even more indistinct trail, even even boggier to an even busier road, uh, which is the A714, uh, used heavily by logging trucks. Um, we then went into Balgrenon up to House Hill 
hotel, which was unfortunately closed, we used their facilities and picked up the trail following the River Cree on a, a very gnarly, at times muddy, but still pleasant trail, uh, turning east to jump over to the water of Minnick, initially on a track and then a very good trail, which we followed all the way to its confluence with the water of Trool. You can stay on the south bank and follow the, the trail um, all the way. We would have gone as far as Colden's, um, but we were advised that it was flooded around this point here. So we decided to cross what's known as the twin bridges of Trool, but uh, is only one. Take this track onto the road, follow the road up to its intersection with the track to Colden's, cash the bags down the track, visit the martyr's tomb, back to the bags, onto the road, up to the Bruce's stone, um, which we then left via this track here, steeply downhill, across, crossing a lovely cascade on the Gale and Burn, uh, then on to um, Glen Head, across the Glen Head Burn, after which came another two and a half kilometre pull uphill on a good track, again a logging track, to an elevated valley where we found Loch D. Somewhere around here there's a much photographed runic stone. Um, we never saw it, uh, but we were quite tired by this point. We continued around the hill into this inlet here, um, and left the track at this point on a very muddy trail, um, about 300 kilometers long and steeply uphill to our objective for the day, which was White Lag and Body.